For decades, school children in Ukraine and other Eastern European countries were taught that Nazi Germany launched a surprise attack against the Soviet Union on June 22, 1941. This was the beginning of what Russia continues to refer to as the Great Patriotic War. The Great Patriotic War lasted 1,418 days. 28 million people were killed. These Soviet narratives became some of the main elements of its rhetoric about the Second World War, and they continue to dominate in Putin's Russia to this day. During World War II, there was a certain struggle between the Soviet Union and its European enemies. In the perspective of modern-day tensions, the myth about the Great Patriotic War is also relevant. In fact, a country that develops the myth of the Great Patriotic War associates itself with a fortress, surrounded by external enemies on all sides. And these enemies are Western states. So when did World War II really begin in Ukraine? Even some former politicians had a hard time answering this question. Here's one of the most famous exchanges in 2014 with notorious Oleg Tsaryov, who supported Russian-backed militants. When the Second World War the former sociological agency found that in Ukraine one in every two people doesn't know when the Second World War began. In its 2019 study, 38 percent of Ukrainians said it was 1941 and 53 percent said it was 1939. In Ukraine, they started shooting before World War II had officially started on September 1st, 1939. I mean, the events took place in Transcarpathian region. Czechoslovakia was invaded and Ukrainians who lived in Transcarpathian region got a chance for self-determination. The local parliament declared the independence of Carpathian Ukraine on March 15, 1939. This decision was rejected by other states, first of all by Stalin. All we know, it was a very dangerous precedent for Soviet Union to have at least a small but independent Ukrainian state. At the start of the Second World War, some western regions of Ukraine were part of Poland. That is why on the 1st of September 1939, Ukrainians joined the Polish army to fight against Nazi Germany. During the time, the Third Reich bombarded Lviv, Ternopil and other western Ukrainian cities. When the Red Army entered Poland, Ukrainians from Red Army and Ukrainians from the Polish Army were actually ordered to kill each other, because there was a war between their countries. This was an act of yet another World War II tragedy for Ukrainians. On September 1939, the Soviet Army entered the Polish territories as an ally of Nazi Germany. They agreed to divide Poland, as per the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact. As for this pact, they agreed not only to divide Poland, it was just the first stage. They also agreed to divide Eastern Europe, partly Northern Europe and Central Europe. They began to actively implement this plan in September 1939. Nearly 8,000 Ukrainians, then citizens of Poland, were killed in September 1939. After the invasion of Poland, Germany captured about 60,000 Ukrainians, while over 20,000 ended up in Soviet captivity. Natalia Chakotun, UATV.